Hey, I'm Liam from QIS Packaging, and in this video, I'm going to take you over the 2021 single-use plastics ban in Queensland. The information can be quite overwhelming, so I'm going to take you through step-by-step step which items are banned, what your alternative options are, and the penalties for failing to comply. Towards the end, I'll also show you how to save 15% of all QIS products that are compliant. Each year, Australia produces 2.5 million tonnes of plastic waste and only 84% of that plastic makes it to landfills, meaning that 130,000 tonnes of plastic waste makes it into our delicate ecosystems every year. That's why the Australian government has set targets to make 100% of our packaging reusable, recyclable or compostable by 2025. However, this target will be coming in different stages and from the 1st of September 2021, Government legislation will make it illegal to supply customers with single-use plastics that are less than 35 um thick. In addition to that, the ban will focus on phasing out eight types of harmful plastic waste, which are plastic straws, cutlery and stirrers, plastic that is misleadingly labelled as degradable, lightweight plastic bags that are less than 35 microns thick, polystyrene food containers and consumer goods packaging, and microbeads and personal care products. Although there are some industries that are exempt from this ban, such as hospitals, pharmacies, dental and medical clinics, aged care facilities, medical suppliers, and facilities that provide care to those with a disability or healthcare needs. The goal is to transition to higher value plastics that are easier to recycle, such as high density polyethylene, known as HDPE, and polypropylene. As of 2019, we recycle these plastics at a rate of just 3 and 2% respectively. But by 2025, the government is aiming to raise that number to 20%. As of the 1st of September 2021, any business or non-for-profit that doesn't comply with the ban may face a maximum fine up to 50 penalty units for each of the following. Supplying a banned single-use plastic item, providing false or misleading information about a banned plastic item, or providing false or misleading information to customers about whether a plastic item is compostable. So what is a penalty unit? It's a way of determining how much each fine is worth. It is calculated by taking one penalty unit, which in Queensland is $137, and multiplying it by the number of set penalty units for a crime. For example, if the fine is 50 penalty units, that would equal approximately $6,892 per offence. If you're an individual who has plastic bags at home, you'll still technically be able to use them. Although it'd be more economical to use a stronger reusable bag and just keep it in your car. Not all biodegradable bags are compliant with the ban. This is due to a popular misconception about which materials are truly biodegradable. There are two different types of degradable plastic. There's true biodegradable bags that are plant-based. Then there's also oxo-degradable bags, which are a conventional plastic mixed with an additive to imitate biodegradation. Oxo-degradable plastics only fragment into smaller and smaller pieces, known as microplastics, but they don't break down at the molecular level, meaning they still contribute to the decline of marine ecosystems. Understanding this can be very important, as companies can easily claim that their products are biodegradable. However, without further context, this claim can be very misleading. That's why reputable companies will often make more specific claims like certifying that their bioplastics are compostable. It's important to remember that all compostable plastics are biodegradable, but not all biodegradable plastics are compostable. This initiative isn't just for businesses. It's also to help everyday people become part of the solution. That's why over the next three years, the government is investing heavily in recycling infrastructure and education, such as supporting the national rollout of the Recycle Mate app, which allows you to look up an item or simply take a photo of it. From there, the app will tell you how to dispose of it correctly. In addition to that, the government will also be introducing curbside collection that is specifically for recycling. So which bags are exempt from the ban? Well, it comes down to which bags protect and distribute food, such as bread bags, bin liners, heavy duty retail plastic bags, and barrier bags, which are the deli style bags for perishable foods like meat, fruit, and veg. Now let's talk about the alternatives to plastic bags you can get for wholesale prices at QAS. Our most popular options are paper bags, calico bags, plastic carry bags with die cut handles, grocery bags, non-woven polypropylene bags, like what you might find at Woolies, and flat paper bags. Firstly, our paper bags. 
QAS supplies brown, white and coloured paper bags in a huge variety of colours, styles and sizes. From brown grocery bags to deluxe gift bags with rope handles and everything in between. Then there's our durable calico bags. They're diverse, eco-friendly and come in a range of sizes and styles. From our drawstring bags, which have nine different sizes, to our shoulder strap bag with two sizes and our two handle bags with two sizes and five different options to suit all your needs. Next, there's our retail carry bags with die cut handles. These bags are made out of heavy duty plastic, making them ideal for retailers and customers alike. At QIS, you'll find them in a variety of sizes and 13 different colors to choose from. And don't forget our SOS 3, 4 and 5 grocery bags. They're extremely durable at 125 micron thick. They're the perfect alternative for any retailer, large or small. One of our most popular alternatives are our non-woven polypropylene bags, or better known as Woolies bags. They're stronger, better for the environment, and you can use them week in and week out. And lastly are our flat paper bags. Think of old tuck shop bags, except they're available in a huge variety of sizes. 12 different options in brown, and nine different options in white. Perfect for pharmacies, bakeries, and other small retailers who typically sell one or two items at a time. Here at QIS, we feel it is our responsibility to not only comply with the ban, but help our customers transition to more sustainable options with ease. So, if you need help finding alternatives to single-use plastics, or you have any questions, put a comment below, and our friendly team is happy to help. As I said at the start, if you want to save 15% off your order, you'll find two links in the description below. The first one will take you to a 10% coupon code. The second will take you to our website, where you can sign up as a member for free and get 5% off all orders into the future.